Portland Timbers. They're dreadful. Taking on San Jose Earthquakes. They're getting better. The Earthquakes won again on the weekend. Spent, scored three goals in the process. Timbers lost again at home. Uh, 2-1 to the aforementioned Seattle Sounders. Uh, Portland continued to really struggle, not only in terms of like performance, but the data is, well, they had the worst expected goals in Major League Soccer and the worst home expected goals against. Yet, Portland somehow are a significant favorite in this one. I think that we're all raising our eyebrows about this one. And a couple pro San Jose Earthquake plays by my two esteemed colleagues. Uh, Dan, you can explain first, and then Bob can piggyback off you. Where are you going with this one? Yeah, and, and this is one of the times when all three of our plays could cash here, and yes. we could all be going to the bank alongside each other. But for me, this is, I mean, you, you don't have to do much convincing to make me want to for, fade the, the Portland Timbers. But now we're talking about an extra short week for a team who had a Sunday fixture having to turn around. And yes, they get to stay at home, but um, it's not like it's they've been some stalwart at home. Let's be real here. And for what we've seen with San Jose, I know it's a short little sample size here. But they're playing their best ball. I, I mean, and, and I only have some buy signs up. I, I think that uh, this isn't just a little blip on the radar. I, I think San Jose could be a play on team moving forward here, especially when you're getting money coming back on. And for me, I'm going to take a little bit of protection. I'm actually going to go on the Asian handicap and take the quarter of a goal. So if we end up with a draw here, which we've seen a lot for Portland at home, I'll at least win half of my bet. And at plus 130, we'll still be making some cash here. Um, I mean, Portland has and one guys nine straight fixtures right um they have so you, you have to turn the the calendar back two months to march 9th when they finally recorded a win um so it's a team who's hot it's a team who has proved that they haven't been able to get it done in portland i just want to protect my myself i'm going to let bob be the bolder one on this play in case the midweek bug bites me a little bit it's a smaller payout but I like that insurance on winning half of my bet if we get a draw here. So I like San Jose to win this outright, but I'm going to do a little sheepishly and take the quarter of a goal at plus 130. That's the bet for me. Bob? I got to take the bomb. San Jose Earthquakes plus 295. <laughs> These are two mm. teams that know each other very well, and Portland has been undoubtedly the better team in this matchup for a very long time. But we're not worried about a very long time. We're worried about this weekend. And this weekend, we have the Quakes going in with a lot of confidence. They have a new number 10 that I've talked about a lot last week, and he scored a goal, Hernan Lopez, last week. So I, I like everything that's going on there. Uh, you know, I think they're better than their three, one and eight record shows. And just like Dan is going to be jumping on Seattle Sounders, I'm going to be jumping on quakes for a few games this season because these odds, again, they just don't make sense. And it's not necessarily the quakes to win at plus 295. That doesn't make sense. It's the other side of it, the Portland at minus 120. What have they shown us so far this season that that expects them, you know, to, to get that kind of play? The best player on the field in this one, Christian Espinoza. He's a winger on the Quakes. He's got a really good chance to uh, put one in the back of the net. He's got two goals and seven assists already on the young season. And, you know, Portland allows early chances. They allow often chances. This is MLS after dark. This is once the kids are asleep, the dog's in bed, the wife's, uh, <laughs> you know, down for the night. We get to turn on TV and, and root for a, a real underdog here. At plus 295, again, it's not the most likely scenario, but the odds just don't make sense for, for what we're going to get in this matchup. Yeah, those, those, those are big numbers. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a little bit of a different play. Both teams to score it over two and a half uh, is my play at minus 115. I already told you about Portland's dreadful numbers, the worst, worst expected goals against in Major League Soccer. Neither one of these teams um, has great is great in terms of like creating regular chances, but they do score. They do take their chances on a regular basis. More to the point, both these teams defensively are very, very weak. Portland haven't had a clean sheet in 15. Their games have played to over two and a half and seven of eight, and both teams have scored has played in seven of eight. San Jose has really picked things up. They've scored three goals in three of their last four MLS games. They've gone over two and a half and eight of ten overall. Both teams score uh, in eight of ten overall as well. But they do have the fourth worst expected goals against. In last season, it hit that both teams to score in three total in a two-one result between these two teams. 
Um, so the both teams to score over two and a half. It's my favorite play. I'm hoping I'm expecting goals in this one, which would be a really good way to finish off the weekend. Again, both teams to score in over two and a half played in 12 of the 14 games last weekend across major league soccer. This looks like it is the one, um, question and answer time, by the way, please like subscribe, uh, tell your friends about this show. And for the latest odds, go to betustv.com slash odds. And if you want to check out BetUS, go to betustv.com slash join.